I just put my first name, last name, email address and when I select yes, it will pull up the quiz form. After submit the forms, it will show me the results and based on results, it will show me different kind of feedback. Also, it will send custom email based on score. Hello there, welcome to my another video. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a quiz forms using Fluent Forms. So for this one, you need to install the Fluent Form first to your WordPress and just click on add new button. And I will start from it blank. So my video will be in two parts. The first part will be uh, for how you can create a quiz form and in the second part I will show you how you can show the score to the user based on the calculation or based on the score so I will first check name field and email fields and also I will check your ready fields on there a ready fields and then I will take a one column container and all quiz field will be on the container so for example you can check a radio field for this container also you can take multi-select option also you can uh, take the checkbox and run slider so all can be uh, used in the quiz forms so finally i will add uh, enable the conditional logic for this and also i will Add a custom submit button to there, like custom submit button. See where, uh, where is this? This one actually. So also this custom uh, submit button will be first of all hide, and then when user will select are we ready for the quiz, then when he select yes, he the fields will pull up. So now I will enable conditional uh, logic for this column. So if I enable conditional logic for this, so the condition should be when ready field equal to yes then he will uh, the user will get this quiz form so now i'm saving these forms and let me show you the result so as you can see uh, the form is visible but the rest of the field is not visible so when we, i will put my name first name last name and email address and like something i am just using the dummy text okay so at the rate of z.com and uh, when i select yes uh, it will pull up the rest of the field. So now I will show you how you can uh, enable calculation for those fields. So in this case, you just need to uh, go back to the editor option and uh, click on these fields and you will find the option for calc value. Just enable this one and also give the uh, score for the every option. Same will uh, go for the multi select option, enable calculation, calc value and give the score, enable checkbox, enable calculation, and give the score and for the range slider field you don't need to add the calculation or something like that it will automatically calculate the score so in the final step just add a, a numeric fields and enable calculation for there just click on there go to the advanced option and uh, click enable calculation and uh, here you find uh, uh, icon on there and just click on there and you will find all field value on there like just enable every fields and uh, between all fields just you need to add a plus icon that's it now uh, if I save these forms and now if I save these forms and uh, preview the design so as you can see when I select yes it is pulls up the fields and after when I select the option it will calculating the all field also calculating the range slider as well so if you want to hide this field uh, before submit the button like you don't want to show this score before submission you can hide this field as well so in this case just go to the editor option and uh, click on numeric fields and uh, yeah, go to the advanced option on the element class uh, on the container class right ff minus hidden sorry i have 
added the calculation okay just uh, minus and uh, set the forms now if i go back there and reload the space and uh, you can see the calculation is not visible so now let's see how you can show the score and uh, based on score how you can uh, send confirmation message as well so go to the setting and creation go to the other confirmation and uh, let me delete this one click add confirmation so for example when the user will get uh, one he will get uh, this score uh, this message uh, like just an example um i just uh, there is a spelling mistake ignore this one so click on there and uh, if numeric fields like less than five when the numeric field less than five he will get this message uh okay make it correct thank and just set this notification and uh, i will add another confirmation like uh, when he will get uh, the score more than 10 he will get welcome message so i'll do for similar things in there numeric fields uh, greater than 10. so let's save these forms and check the result uh, what we got actually so now preview the forms already version equal to yes so multi-select option so i'm using everything like doing the score more than 10 when i submit the button he is getting welcome and when he will get uh, less than 10 he will get thank you and if you want to show the score on the thank you message page just click on there and just you need to go to the space and uh, go to click on add shortcut and here you will find the shortcut for everything like if you use this shortcut uh, it will show the thing uh, score for in the numeric fields and uh, similar things uh, you will need to do for the email notification as well so go to the email notification enable email notification so you can add uh, more than one notification on there and uh, just you need to enable conditional logic and do the similar stuff uh, what you did for this confirmation message as well so this is the actual way how you can show the score and show the different kind of feedback uh, based on the condition and based on the score so i hope this video is wasteful for you and uh, however if you have any other question regarding this or any other if you need anything else please comment below i'll assist you or i'll make another video for you thank you for watching the video have a very good day